I'm Erin Lockwood. With my husband Phil and our three kids, we've been eating our way around the world for the past year and a half. Our luxury travels have provided food experiences ranging from cactus tacos harvested and grilled in the middle of the Mexican desert to countless michelin starred hotspots throughout Europe and the U.S. And since our kids love adventurous cuisine as much as we do, we brought a couple of them on our latest trip in search of the best fine dining in one of the top culinary hubs on the planet. We are in New York City and we're staying at the Dominic Hotel in Soho and we're gonna take you on a Soho dining tour. We're gonna show you the four top restaurants in the area. And we just flew in, so we are gonna keep it close to home. We are going to the Michelin starred restaurant, Vestry, and it's right here in our hotel. All right, well, we just placed our order. This is a seafood place, practically a sushi restaurant based on the menu. We'll show you everything that we're getting in a minute, but we're starting off with a classic martini, Grey Goose, and these taste extra good when you've been flying across the country the entire day without a single cocktail. Cheers. Phil and I are sharing the Diver Scallop Special for our appetizer. Raw scallops cut through like butter, and it has like a citrus sauce with it. Oh, that's so good. Like a radish or something with some lemon. Delish. Just the scallop. You know what it tastes like is one of the new style sashimis, but it just happens to be scallop instead of yellowtail. And that's what he said, actually, right? Yep. Yeah, delicious. Love it. Thank you. It's called the Free Brittany, which is a misnomer because she was freed two days ago. Cheers, Brittany. To your freedom. Oh, man, that's good. And you really get the smell from the lime, but this is vodka, sake, and all spice. Those are gonna go down like water. So we got the kids the organic chicken with a side of rice, and it has a truffle sauce that they have on the side, because only Colt wants that tonight. But it looks delicious. Our server said that the crispy skin on top is the best part. Oh, let me give you two pieces. A bit of veggie, okay? Got it. Like pure truffle. I got the local cod and it's on spaghetti squash and a white truffle puree. And then over here, it's a sweet potato puree. Magnificent! So subtle, so delicate, and it's it's poached really and it's delicious. Alright, we just got more drinks. Free Britneys. We told her to bring two free Britneys every 10 minutes until someone passes out and then one every 10 minutes. I got the halibut, with this, it's got basil and ginger sauce. It's an amazing little concoction here. Like fresh and light. This is perfect for tonight, especially after having a little bit of bread and some other stuff. It just tastes amazing. There's no pasta in here, no carbs at all. Not that that's a bad thing, but I think this is delicious. Try this, baby. Mm, very strong pesto flavors, but Similar to mine with how light and delicate it is. Yeah, she talked about the ginger, but I don't get a lot of ginger. Just like the basil and the clean freshness of the, the halibut. You like it? Mm -hmm. I definitely got the best on the menu. That local cod is insane. We've been to a lot of Michelin starred restaurants. Best Street absolutely deserves its star. This restaurant is delicious. It's amazing. You've got to come try the local cod. Try the free Britney. So they just asked us if we wanted to go back and see the kitchen. The kids are already ahead of us. The dining room of any restaurant may be the face of the operation, but restaurant director Louis Smeby's invitation to tour the Vestry Kitchen gave us access to the very heart and soul of Sean Hergett's newest restaurant. The work performed by Sean's passionate team is inspired by his childhood memories in rural Australia and his daily life in New York City. We also got to experience a few more desserts, including the most creative cheesecake preparation we've ever seen, and a perfectly innovative winter cocktail. Oh wow, that is a real cocktail. They even whipped up a scratch dark hot chocolate for the kids. Wow, that's amazing. Experiencing the flavors and now seeing the precision of their creative process, it's no surprise that this is Sean's third Michelin starred restaurant. 
For tonight's dinner, we're just a block away from our hotel on the corner of Spring and Hudson, and we're gonna eat at a nice little Italian joint called Nona Beppa. And their specialty is Emilia Romagna, which is the region just above Tuscany. So we're gonna have some amazing food and hopefully an incredible bottle of wine. And this place is also Michelin star. We got the white truffles, the season for two. Wow. Wow. Kids just got to smell some truffles. They have fresh white truffles. We're gonna have to have that with our food. But first, we're gonna pick a bottle of wine. We're gonna get this Tignin, I can't pronounce it, Tignanello. I think I did it. Chianti Classico. Phil and I had a bottle from a good friend of ours and we loved it. It is delicious. It's fantastic. Like the wine, everything sounds delicious here. They make all of their pastas from scratch. Everything sounds amazing here tonight. And they even have this special truffle menu right now where it's like a list of signature dishes that you can get some fresh shaped white truffle on top of. So Aaron and I are probably not gonna do that tonight, but Colt's such a fan of truffle. We're definitely gonna get him some fresh shaped truffle on his. I love truffle. Say, I like truffles. I like truffles. <laughs> well, I know exactly what I'm gonna get. I am getting one of their signature dishes. It's a tortellini. Sounds delicious. Some authentic Italian olive oil. Brought us a little amuse-bouche. Although that's French, there's probably a name for it in Italian. I don't know what it is. This is a crostini parmigiano with some mortadella and balsamic vinegar. Good? Mm -hmm. Phil snagged us the beef tartare tonight. And we gotta get a caper in with it. That's good, it's tender. Really good, babe. Yeah, sometimes there's so much stuff in there, mayonnaise and mustard and egg and everything, that you lose the essence of the steak. This tastes like you're just eating steak. It's so good. Could I do one white truffle? This is a white truffle. That literally tastes like pure truffle. So this is the tortellini stuffed with prosciutto and parmesan, and this is in a chicken broth. Signature dish. And I got the tagliatelle bolognese. It's legit bolognese. The other highly recommended dish. It's one of those things that you just take you to where it's from. Like, we're not in New York anymore. We're in Italy. That's how good that tastes. Al dente. It's like a chicken soup. All right, we got the dessert menu and an espresso martini. Always my dessert. We're gonna take a few of these actually. So how about a tiramisu, crostata al fragiole, and the uh, salami and chocolate. Tiramisu, crostata and salami. Do you order? Is this the chocolate salami? We are stuffed. Now we are gonna walk the one block it takes to get back to our hotel room. See you tomorrow. We wanted to try some Greek food and everyone said we had to go to Lola Taverna and it's only two blocks from our hotel so that's what we're doing tonight. I got us a bottle of Nebbiolo because I'm just gonna be drinking wine tonight. Phil got himself a little cocktail. Yes, I'm very excited about this one. It is called a Peros Plunge, and this is lime leaf infused Tito's, it's yuzu, it's sake, and it's coconut. Yeah, it's like equal parts coconut and lime. Very frothy on top, which I really like. Subtle flavors all around, but an interesting combination for sure. It's delicious. So it's family style here. We got a little bit of everything. Hoppa! So this is the fondue, and it is cheesy. As you saw, it was lit on fire. Mm. Oh, that 
is good. Creamy fondue cheese. I'm gonna try a spring roll, and it's got this little dipping sauce, and it it's, looks like yogurt. Ooh, like a little green oil inside too. Mm. This is really good. It's full of spinach and feta, but this dough, it's not what I expected for phyllo dough. It's it's doughy doughy. I'm gonna try these chicken bao buns. Little pickles in there. I can already tell it's gonna be amazing. That pickle makes it. I can't even imagine it without the pickle. This way it tastes a little bit like one of the amazing Popeye's chicken sandwiches, but with a softer bun. They literally sold it to me with this pickle. <laughs> Definitely one of the louder restaurants we've been in lately. Probably should have sat outside. They've got this beautiful outdoor seating with all of the floral stuff going on. And they do have heaters out there, but everybody's still wearing sweaters. So I'm pretty sure it's still pretty chilly out there. And with our kids, probably wouldn't work out too well. A little bit noisy in here, for sure. So for the entrees, we got shrimp and orzo, and then we got the chicken. It came on a kebab, and they're over some rice. It looks like saffron rice, but I'm gonna have to find out. I think it is saffron rice. The rice is really good. Yes, rice and the chicken are so good. That must be tandoori oven or whatever, right? Yeah, it's so good. You get so the, the smoky flavor. It's delicious. It almost tastes more like lobster than shrimp, don't you think? You're right. It's buttery, like lobster. Spot on. I'm done. Stopped. Can't do anymore. To the brim. All done. We are thoroughly stuck. Uncomfortably stuck. Uncomfortably stuck. That's a good word. That's a better word. When we asked our concierge if there was a steak place that we could go to, she said, obviously there's no shortage of good steakhouses in New York City, but there's one technically just on the other side of the border from Soho in Tribeca, but you've got to try it because it's a modern take on the steakhouse. This is American Cut. <laughs> Smells great, and this looks like uh, vegetable butter. Mm -mm, it's actually cream cheese. Did I try one? Yeah. I am gonna share whatever I get with Colt, so I'm gonna let him choose. Hey Colt, do you want steak or the braised beef short rib? Braised beef short rib. A bold choice. All right, let's pick an appetizer too, though. Smoked Wagyu, he Wagyu. said, is excellent. This is the smoked Wagyu, and it looks like a steamed piece of bread on top. Woo! Ready for a piece, bud? Thank you. That's like so many flavors in one bite of steak. That's like steak on another level. Yeah, it's like steak tartare, but it's a lot of smoke flavor from that smoke. Oh, Colt's right. That's just another level because of that extra dimension of the smoke. It's delicious. They have blocks of this for millions of dollars. There is literally $96 million wagon. I'm, I'm serious. Let me the spoon right here. Now, ma'am, I give you a steak knife. Needed for this one. Okay. This is a wine production. This looks amazing, and this rosemary coming out of it. He said it's gonna fall off the bone. Let's find out. Wow. And the bone just fell out on the bottom. <laughs> Look at that. Mmm. Cole just said, wow, what was right? That is delicious. The short rib is cooked so well and so tenderly. It's almost creamy, the texture, how it melts in your mouth. Wow. Before I dig into my incredible filet mignon, let's take a look at these heirloom carrots. Okay, filet mignon cooked medium rare. Mm. 
perfectly seasoned, and that's the most important part of the steak in my mind. In fact, I would say it's more important than how you cook it, and this one's fantastic. I'm honestly not sure if it's the kids or the camera, but the next thing you know... We are invited back to the kitchen. <laughs> They're both down the steps. Another impressive kitchen and a very educational experience for Brooklyn and Cole. With all this time behind the scenes, we'll be amazed if they don't end up becoming chefs one day. And not to be outdone by our previous experience at Vestry, we return to our table to one of the most unusually delicious desserts we've ever tasted. Listen, that Cracker Jack Sunday was insane. Popcorn flavored ice cream, in-house made caramel popcorn, that peanut brittle, super original, also authentic, it was awesome. Good job, this fun. That's definitely gonna wrap it up for this meal. We are stuffed. So a massive thank you to each of these great restaurants for some incredible meals and unique experiences. And a big high five to the Dominic Concierge who set us up with each one as part of our relationship with Inspirato. If you make it to the Big Apple in the near future, you won't regret booking any or all of these unique eateries. And if you wanna see the behind the scenes of the multi-million dollar 28th floor Soho apartment that we called home while filming this episode, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss our next video that launches in a few days. Two years ago, we decided it was time for my ad agency to abandon the in-person five-day work week. So we 86 our office and work hours, allowing our own family of five to start traveling almost constantly. We now work, school, and explore in a new place every week, from our own mountain and beach homes to exotic villas, resorts, and yachts around the world. As we experience and support diverse cultures, we hope to inspire more families to design a life of freedom and adventure. Because there's a new American dream. It's one that's void of templated expectations, templated career paths, templated education, templated families, templated homes, and templated lives. Freedom's no longer American tagline. It's just the new global way of life. Every day that you spend doing something that doesn't fulfill you to your core, you're living your life on pause. You're deferring genuine family time with no guarantee that there will be a tomorrow or a someday. Some people follow that mentality their entire lives. We've chosen to never live that way again. We appreciate you following our journey. The more our channel grows, the more time we can spend traveling to more locations, contributing to these cultures, highlighting local businesses, and sharing inspiring stories from these communities. So please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing so that you can stick with us for the long haul.